tonight. A man indicted in the death of his wife appears before a judge for a scheduled bond reduction hearing, but switches gears while in court. David Swift is accused of voluntary manslaughter in the 2011 death of his wife Karen. His murder trial in June ended with the Weekly County jury finding him not guilty of murder, but deadlocking on that voluntary manslaughter charge. As WREG's Mike Soriani reports, Swift is now trying to get that charge dismissed. Anything to say today, Mr. Swift? David Swift in shackles and striped jail jumpsuit entering the Dyer County Courthouse Tuesday for what was scheduled to be a bond reduction hearing, but Swift declined bond. He does not want to ask his family to spend another dime on this case to try to make his bond or create a hardship for them. He'll stay in jail and we'll we're going to fight it with the motion to dismiss. Instead, Tuesday's hearing focused on a motion by defense attorney Daniel Taylor and his client to have a voluntary manslaughter indictment dismissed. Taylor arguing the indictment filed just a couple of weeks after a weekly county jury found Swift not guilty of four murder charges and the death of his wife Karen, but deadlocked on a voluntary manslaughter charge exceeds the statute of limitations. They acquitted him of all the of the charges, uh, the most serious charges where the statute of limitations had not expired. The ones that were left over, manslaughter, aggravated assault, and below, those lessers, at the time the DA presented the indictment, uh, the statute of limitations had expired before that. It's four years. District Attorney Danny Goodman arguing a new indictment allows the state to prosecute Swift on the voluntary manslaughter charge. Mr. Swift left the state of Tennessee about two and a half years after uh, the discovery of the body. So we're arguing that the statute of limitations stopped at that point. Goodman saying the state is determined to retry Swift. Even though we're, we're down to a lesser charge now, we still feel that we have to try to seek justice. And regardless of the charge, that's what we're going to do if we, if we have that opportunity. Judge Marquez is expected to rule July 30th on the motion to dismiss and whether David Swift will face a new trial. For your news leader in Dyer County, I'm Mike Suriani, WREG News Channel 3. If Swift is found guilty of voluntary manslaughter, he could receive a mandatory life sentence. David Swift still faces charges in Alabama for stalking his second wife, who is divorced from now.